get back. And just as this Detroit couple was coming to terms, they'd never see Poe the Pomeranian again. He ran off from their yard in this elf suit two days before last Christmas. I never gave up hope. I would drive down the street just looking in hopes that I would find this green and yellow elf suit or something. For a while, they thought Poe had been hit by a car and might be dead somewhere. My family all came. I had my sisters come out, everybody. It was just like our own personal search team. And I cried for three days straight. Papering the neighborhood with posters, search parties for weeks, but no sign of him until this week on a walk with Poe's partner named Cuban. And I looked to the left and Poe was barking at me in a neighbor's backyard. It was like divine intervention because we were talking about making a right. Some told me to make a left. I pulled out my phone, of course, and I'm like, look, his little booty and his little marks. I'm like, that's my dog. It turns out someone found Poe not too far from the couple's home on Detroit's east side. He'd been living with this new family all along. They even renamed him Oreo. <laughs> it took some convincing, but the couple was able to prove that Poe was theirs and the new family gave him back. And as soon as she brought him, he jumped out and they, my, him and my other dog were running up and down the street as if he was never gone. We just missed his spirit around here and just to have his spirit back and he just brought the house back to life. They're thankful someone took care of their baby, as they say, adding keep the faith if you're missing a furry friend. <laughs> Just don't give up. It's, it's the answers are out here. I just guess you just have to keep looking. Reporting on Detroit's east side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.